Alright, it says I'm streaming on everything, so... I don't know who this guy is, man. He keeps sending me invites for what? Yeah, the whole the whole situation, in all honesty, I'm not I'm not a fan of it. It is what it is at the end of the day though. Got almost nothing to watch. I hear you. I'm here. When you're gonna smoke za on stream? Hokage, what's good? Yeah, man. That like the internet would just show you. <laughs> the internet would just show you. The internet will show you. That's all I'm saying. I need to come clean, Anderson. I know why Nightingale oh, we saw this already. The internet will show you. No doubt about it. Tego, thank you so much for the sub. Appreciate you. The heart. The page says Nightingale's in something called an overlap. Need to figure out exactly what that means. I'm happy I'm not in charge of this mess. Thanks. Let's start looking for Nightingale where it was killed. The writer of these pages knows what will happen. Because they're behind this, or because they can see what's coming. Impossible things are happening here. A world operating on different rules. I need to understand this strange logic, to see the clues, to solve the case. Mm, this shit is becoming nighttime. I've been thinking more about the cold of the tree. 
What sort of cult refers to themselves as a cult? In my experience, they don't. They don't. We're not seeing the full picture yet. Hey, hello there. How are you folks doing? Those restricted area signs don't do a damn thing, huh? Hello, Saga Anderson. Are you two supposed to be here? I'm Ilmo Koskela. Fantastic to meet you. And yes, Stephen here hired me to show him through the woods. He's in town on important government business. Fixing this impressive piece of hardware. I work for the FBC, ma'am. I'm authorized to be here. And I bet you two are here about that murder. Nasty stuff. How's it going? What is this thing? It's just a monitoring station, ma'am. The Federal Bureau of Control checks volcanic activity and air toxicity levels. No need to worry, though. It's mostly for research purposes. That's one gorgeous wetter saga. <laughs> Looks Nordic. I bet a family member made it. Stephen, we're investigating a murder. This motherfucker just nearby. like saying some stuff. I'm just what ignoring that shit. Nothing that isn't classified, I'm afraid. But I don't know anything about a murder. The operations here are run by a different department. I'm just here to make some repairs. The wiring on this thing frays every couple months. Yep, that's the raccoons. They grow real big here with teeth like you wouldn't believe. Can not run right through a garbage can. My mother made this sweater. I should just say that. Yeah, I'm going my with that. My mother made this sweater for me. How do you know? I knew it. My mom used to knit those sweaters for me and my brother. Watery, my hometown, was founded by Finnish immigrants. So between your name and the sweater, I figured your family might be from Finland too. Suomi, Finland. Ulla, Karjalanpiira. <laughs> Close. My mom's family is from Sweden originally. I don't know much about them beyond that. The sweater is just something to remember her by. How did you hear about the murder, Ilmo? Do you know anything that could help us? People tend to tell me things. The Koskala brothers are kind of a household name around here. Speaking of... Those are the guys on the TV. Uh, looking for some fun, stop by Watery. Just down the road from Bright Falls, there's our Coffee World Amusement Park. There's Sauna, Sauna ja Vihta. <laughs> and we offer a variety of guided tours, hunting, fishing, hiking, whatever strikes your fancy. You name it, we probably got it. Okay, Word. we're done for now. Word. Say less. I can go inside, so there's probably something inside here. What'd you find there, Steven? Clear time clear signs of tampering. Signal was rerouted into a transmitter that wasn't that was uh, not one of ours. I fixed it so any alerts will come our way, but it's definitely concerning. I'll make a report for the investigation department. Oh, I can't go down anymore. Leaving this here in case I'm not the next person to fix these things. If you're reading this, check for tampering. We may want to put more secure metal casing around the whole thing so the raccoons, see how they put raccoons, can't get to it anymore. Stephen Lynn, chief technician. Raccoons, huh? I don't know. Yeah, last time I came here, I took what was in here. We in this together, hero. Have a heroic day. So they still fixing that up. Let's get to the murder site, Casey. A lot of things about this case keep bothering me. But one thing feels really off. Breaker's disappearance. I don't get the feeling Nightingale was responsible. Hmm. He was about to give you more of those pages. Something didn't want us to have them? Or was protecting him from Nightingale? Spontaneous combustion? I don't know. I not the kind of disappearance we normally solve. Our crime scene's drowning. Up. I never minded rain. 
feels like home. No sign of Nightingale. But the page did place him at Cauldron Lake in an overlap. So how do we follow him there? Maybe something around here will tell us. I know your light, right? Your flashlight eventually. Bare feet. Nightingale. I'll see where these footprints lead. Mm -mm. Can you come through the crime scene one more time, KC? Just in case. On it. If anything comes up, I'll radio you. We've seen this symbol before. Hmm. So did I. Before, she was just looking at the symbol. I mean, I saw the symbol. Like in the shower, in the house, but... After we find Nightingale, what then? I've never arrested a monster. I've watched you arrest plenty of monsters, Anderson. <laughs> you know what I mean. Monster monsters. Light worked against him at the morgue. That might be the only way to stop him from hurting anyone else. Monsters? Overlaps? Rituals? What do you make of all of this? Hmm. The killers are usually the ones performing the ritual, not the detective. Acting out their sick fantasy. They may be trying to get you involved, forcing you into their twisted world. But with dead men coming alive, the word ritual starts to have more weight behind it. We need to look around, learn what this ritual is. All right, so I got to follow those footprints, see where they lead to, but I got to be very careful because I feel like this is when it's about to get a little hectic. Now, can we just talk about how nice this game looks? Look at the lighting on this motherfucker. Ah, uh, damn. Okay, definitely goes that way. Nah, we don't want to steer away from the footprints. We need to be very careful. Mm -mm. That music. The tracks lead into the water. Mm -mm. Where'd you go from here? Oh. <laughs> I can feel something. Oh, shit. The presence. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Nightingale isn't far. I ain't like that random flash, by the way. That shit was not it. <laughs> some battery we need to be very careful here I ain't got no auto aim I need to be very precise with my shots here before. Is he there? What is this shit? What is that? These aren't the same tracks that were here before. They're headed into the tree, not out of it. My flashlight burned the dark stuff away. It was covering another page. The fuse was in place. 
Saga stepped into the witch's hut. Inside, a bright light. There were objects that stood out to Saga, as if the light had manifested them. The witch's hut. Okay. I trust the pages to lead me to the overlap. So R1. Oh, shit. I just used mad battery. And it doesn't... Oh, man. I'm fucking up already. Bogo, what's good, baby? What's going on? This motherfucker gonna come out of nowhere. This bullshit. Fuck is he? Can't go any further. That's the border. I guess we go back. I don't know if I'm supposed to do more. I'm gonna look one more time. Damn, I already used three bars of my flashlight. Nah, there doesn't seem to be anything here. So it seems like I need to. Yeah, it seems like I need to go back. All right. Remember, I am playing on hard mode because you guys told me to. So I'm pretty sure, like, one hit is going to put me in critical. This motherfucker going to come out of nowhere. I know it, man. The bullshit. I saw something in the woods. Mm -mm. Probably just a deer, but I'm gonna check it out. Nah. Okay. I found another page. Following up on a lead. Keep checking in. Roger. My man is doing the wrong thing. It's the last thing you should want to do. I think there's like a safe space here. I'm gonna go into Saga's mind. Place. I think the page is trying to tell me where to find the fuse. It must be somewhere near the witch's hunt. <clears throat> Light is the key to stay safe, but for something more to be revealed as well. Right trail. Uh, we still got we got the profiling. Nightingale. The 
overlap. I know Nightingale is somewhere around Cauldron Lake. The tree was a threshold. This place and the dark place. <laughs> You're in over your head. Next stop, Caldera Street Station. The threshold, like a doorway, leading to Nightingale. It's somehow connected to a tree. Which is Leo? Which is Leo? Oh dear, I am a tourist, and it appears that I'm lost in... Yeah, I saw that already. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale, gone missing here 13 years ago. Now he had suddenly turned up, only to be murdered in a brutal ritual on the very day of their arrival. And then there was the page. This page, the first page that they had found, not the last, the first step down into terrifying depths, secret truths trembling beyond the threshold. Reading the words, these words, felt like a message. Was a message. Someone knew they were here, what they were doing. Someone playing a game with them, leading them on. An invitation. How could they not accept? The sheer audacity of this impossible mystery presented to them. Even if they knew it would end up hurting them. Mm. The fuse was in place. She found it among the junk in the forest. Saga stepped inside the witch's hut. Something rushed through her. A presence. Familiar. She couldn't quite place it. Something long forgotten. She tried to hold on to it, but it was already gone. Inside, a bright light. Saga felt safe, like nothing could hurt her here. There were objects that stood out to Saga as if the light had manifested them, pulled them from the darkness. A shift in reality, heavy with hidden meanings. A coffee thermos, a shoebox, a mop and a bucket, a poster on the wall, and in the cabinet, another manuscript page. Is Witch's Ladle the doorway into the overlap? So I'm gonna have to go there. If so, that's where I'll find Nightingale. This has to go coke symbols, yeah. Some kind of signature that they intend for the body to be discovered or just an idle carving. I need to find the witch's hut. So I have to go up this way. I wish there was a map. on the screen. Like I can't I can't So I'm going to witch's hunt. It should be so I'm make sure I'm going the right way. Yep. And I gotta make a right at the fork or at the turn. Oh no, I could just keep going straight, yeah. Oh, but I was here. This 
is the witch's hut. This fuse is busted. Friday, Midge told me today that her family's moving away. This sucks. I haven't even told her that I like her yet. See, this is why you guys just, just you know, let Shorty know how you feel. If, if it works out, it works out. If it don't, it don't. But don't waste your time. What's the point anymore? She said her parents want to get better jobs and get her to a better school in a big city. I guess that's fair. Who wants to stay in bright fucking falls? And this is Sunday. So I told her, she said, thanks, fucking kill me. Monday, I snuck out last night again, went to the big house by the lake. Instead of just watching it from here like I always do, instead of just sitting around like I always do, screw that. Anyway, something weird is going on down there. I'm going to find out what. Going to get back there tomorrow with better gear. I bet I could find a way inside the building. Taking some photos is going to be epic. Yeah, what's good, stream? What's going on, fellas? A lunchbox again. Who's leaving these out here? Manuscript fragments. I know things can get a little crazy around here, but if you ever feel scared, just remember that Alan is watching over us. So I got another manuscript. Weapon upgrade three. Land two headshots in quick succession to stun an enemy for an extended. It for me it will either be more bullets or another headshot. This one looks good. People should really stop littering, though. Okay. Now we gotta get the lights working. And this is where the bullshit might start happening. You know when you get a key item? This should be a fuse box right here. The image of the witch in the sign. Saga addressed the witch. The smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Show Saga me. pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. Show me the terror. So the coffee is pretty much saving. Manual save. page from the witch's hut seems to be describing some kind of ritual. Nah. Look like those words tattooed on the heart are part of a ritual. 
<laughs> to get into the overlap, I need to find Nightingale's heart. Read the line imprinted on it, plus the line on the page to the witch's ladle sign. Then push the heart through the hole in the sign. Nightingale's heart disappeared from the morgue. Where is it now? The heart. I need Nightingale's heart to get to the overlap. Where is it? The cult is doing close. He was there, but he was risen. Nightingale was there. The opposite of sunspots. Who said that? That's not it. I don't have what I need to find Nightingale's heart. There must be more. Nightingale's heart. Where is it? Meanwhile, they played cards in the general store. The witch had stolen his heart. Get out of my house. Nightingale's heart is at the general store, in a fridge. How she's able to do this, though? Like, does she have powers? Yo, Pratt, what's good, man? the general store for the heart. Casey, I'm headed to the general store. I think I know how to get into the overlap. Uh, roger that. I followed some ATV tracks in the woods and got a bit turned around. Did you get lost? No, nah, don't I've spoil it. Lost don't spoil it. Once in my life, Anderson. The years I spent with my ex-wife. I'll find my way back. Don't you worry about it. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Okay. Don't forget to save often. Here live the witch of the cauldron lake. Beware her spirit may still haunt this place. So we gotta go to the general store. His heart is there, so. Get him darker than a motherfucking this shit. I think I'll mention the general store. I need to check it out. Nope, I'm going the wrong way. It's this way. Can I make a left? Dark. Sorry, the fridge. Suspicious activity spotted the field of thought. He saw movement in the bushes. Footprints around the area were found, but some were compromised by the fielder. Note to self, train the field. I think we read this, right? None of the reports, some animals regular. Hunters out after dark approaches, heard some gunshots, not one of ours. Got to keep an eye out on these people. They can get more than they bargained for out there.
Gotta deploy some scare tactics. Oh shit! Surround the darkness. Using trauma pad will allow you to heal. Applying a trauma pad takes longer but grants you a large health benefit. Felt good. The heart. The text on the heart is clearer now. Legible. The wave crash on the far side of the mirror. I feel like I recognize this. The fridge. The heart. I knew it would be here. Like I saw it in a dream. Now I need to give the heart to the witch. Makes total sense. And you swear page. A little bigger. Check with Lady Fatora at the counter to get this shotgun right here. So I gotta go to the counter. Where though? Seven oh five, seven thirteen, seven seventeen, seven twenty three. Seven. Seven oh five, seven thirteen, seven seventeen, seven twenty three. Seven oh five. Nah, don't spoil you anything. You guys don't have to spoil you anything. Don't spoil you anything. <coughs> if 
I can't pick that up. These numbers match the ones on the lotto ticket. Shit. We got a do 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 gun. Can we bet if he gets it before four o'clock? Nigga, I got that shit right now. Shut the fuck up. Hell is wrong with you. It's crazy before four o'clock. That's wild. <laughs> That's so wild. Holy shit. I ain't the smartest nigga in the world, but goddamn. Goddamn. That's cool. That's crazy. So I barely got any. I mean, this is like if I'm fighting somebody OD strong and I feel like I need to. I ain't even got that many bullets left, too. It's crazy. So we got to go to Cauldron Lake. Perform the ritual at the... At the open overlap. So I got to go over here. I wish you can, like, legit just pin it, right? Can't. Casey, there are cultists in the area. They're taken, like Nightingale. Watch yourself out there. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I'm still finding my way back. You have the worst sense of direction. <laughs> Any city in America I can get through drunk and blindfolded. It's these damn trees. Okay, okay. I'm en route to Witch's Ladle. I need to perform a ritual to open the overlap. This case just keeps getting weirder. But it is exciting. You are fighting ghosts and oh, spiritual beings that are beyond human. And you think that shit is fun? That's crazy. So we got to go over here. So I got to go straight, then make that right. is out here so I need to be very careful. Oh, 
burn this nigga. Got that much ammo left. I know you could die. They tell you mad fucking late when you're about to get fucking swung on. We gotta perform this ritual. Man, what the fuck happens if I run out of ammo? I can't. I can't swing at these motherfuckers. I ain't got no nine bullets. You look evil. I like the game so far. I like it. I like it a lot. Wave crashed on the far it's side a very path. slow burn, but I like it. I brought you the heart witch. He definitely popped my ass. <laughs> Playing on what, what mode are you playing on? Uh, not about this life. I'm playing on hard, man. So clearly, I'm probably gonna take more damage per hit, less ammo. Oh, shit. in the overlap. Are you still on your way? Casey! Casey, do you need me? Fuck. Okay, Saga. Going in solo. Barely got any ammo. Logan? Logan! Where are you? What the fuck was that? Logan's back in Virginia. You're imagining things. I'm searching because real shit. I'm very low on ammo. If anything, I got more health than I got ammo. how people get lost in the forest and shit. Yeah, I'm bugging. I'm gonna check one more time. Mr. Wake? Mr. Wake? Wait. Did I get turned around? No, this is right. This place is looping. Like a nightmare. Oh, 
What? Need to find Nightingale. Ah, it's safe here, right? I think it's safe. Saga edged toward the broken door. Her gun ready. Flashlight aimed ahead. Slate, what's good, baby? Nightingale said it would be here. The Cauldron Lake General Store was overgrown, left to rot. Saga thought about the cult of the tree. They had been here, waiting, planning a gruesome ritual murder. Meanwhile, they played cards in the general store, like it was just another late night poker game. Saga stepped closer to the door. Had the animal broken it? There was a loud crash. Saga found herself face to face with a cultist, a hulking figure in a raincoat. We watch in the night, wild eyes behind a plastic deer mask, an axe in his raised hand. So, th like, this is like him narrating, like, what's going on pretty much, right? The fuse was in place. She found it among the junk in the forest. Saga stepped inside the witch's hut. Something rushed through her. A presence. Familiar. She couldn't quite place it. Something long forgotten. She tried to hold on to it. But it was already gone. Inside, a bright light. Saga felt safe. Like nothing could hurt her here. There were objects that stood out to Saga as if the light had manifested them. Pulled them from the darkness. A shift in reality. Heavy with hidden meanings. A coffee thermos. A shoebox. A mop and a bucket. A poster yeah, on the we, wall. We already know about this. And in the cabinet. Witch's ladle. Towering over Saga. Watching her and the witch. The image of the witch in the sign. Nightingale's heart. A cold, dead lump in her hand. Her definition of sanity had changed since she arrived in this town. But she trusted the pages. Was forced to. Saga addressed the witch. She squinted to read the first part of the ritual words, the smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory, the words she had read on the page. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. This was the key. The tree was the threshold. Increase reload speed. Deals increased damage to enemies that are stunned, blinded, or knocked down. Ready for more. Kill an enemy to restore health. The amount of restore of health depends on the strength of the enemy. That right there will be OD. And then the pistols. Increase the magazine size by 50%. Yo, you, you, what mode are you playing on? I didn't get to see your, your reply. Symbols. Oh, you on hard mode too? Yeah. We're men. Many men. Oh, shit. He's here, Nightingale.
danger. Who is that? It's like they're coming in over a bad signal. They gave me nine shotgun bullets. You know what that means. <laughs> you know what that means. What they give you all that good stuff. No pistol ammo. No pistol ammo. Yo, Jimmy. What's going on, Jimmy? Said once I go down. Let me see if there's anything else. Probably not, but. Now you know this your ball battle. You know this most battle right here. It's like switching like between realities, right? Game saved. That's the shit. How did I not dodge that? Is he not burning up? Oh my gosh. The fuck happened? Here?
I'm out. I need to get some items, though. Oh, my God. Let me get that. Let me get that. Let's go. We out, we out, we out, we out, we out, we out, we out. What? <laughs> Nigga threw my little ass. Oh my gosh. Walk it off, you right. I'm I'm just a little I'm a little lost. I don't want no no answers though. I'm just a little lost because I don't know. Like once you use the light on them, then that's it. I I, I don't know. We'll see. I'll figure it out. <laughs> Nightingale. fucking see though I'm trying to We're just gonna run. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> the flash is crazy. Son, all these trees, man. I can't see shit. It's not a real way. What the fuck is it? Oh my god, he's right there. I'm out. Son, you you came and find you. There's too much trees and shrub. Oh, I found some shit though. Give me that. I can't.
Oh, I can get off? Burn this thing! I'm gonna shoot your penis off, man. I'm getting tired of your shit. I know that's your weak point, motherfucker. I can't see anything with the red around, the trees around. I can't see shit. I got so lucky there. Let's fucking go. Off of me. shit again. We're doing this shit again. Yeah, we're doing it again. He want to shoot that penis. That's a bad start. Son, what happened to the light? What happened to the light? I didn't blind this motherfucker. I didn't blind him. So you could you could stun him. You could hit him when he's stunned on some Resident Evil shit.
That nigga instant grasped me. Fuck off me. I can't see. What kind of boss battle is this? Yo, Alan! Who are you? What is this? Who are you? You me? I'm Saga Anderson, FBI. I can hear you. Cauldron Lake. Yes, sir. I'm at Cauldron Lake. Where are you? How to escape? In danger. The dark presence. Danger. Thanks. Got it. Take a breath. He's, he's changed the story. The d dark presence. We must stop it before. Easy now. First things first. What's your name? My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I, I've been. Wake? Where did you come from? You've been missing for 13 years. Was that how long the game came out? 13 years ago? End of chapter. So 13 years ago is when the game came out. Very interesting. I don't even know what this shit is saying, man. I'm about to skip. Nah, I'm skipping this. I'm sorry, man. That shit was just 
unbearable to hear. Where did you go? All of a sudden, the radio stopped working, and then that flooding just disappeared. Crazy forest. Is this who I think it is? Casey, say hello to Alan Wake. Mr. Wake, this is Special Agent Alex Casey. He'll escort you to our car. Casey, I'll meet you there, right after I take a look around. If the flooding's receded, there might be evidence we missed earlier. Okay. See you there. Optional. Investigate the previous Alex flooded Casey. area. How? Am I still... Is this the dark place? No, it can't be. I got out. Yeah, the P.I. from your books has the same name as me. Great. Moving on. It's a bit of a hike to the car, Wake. Just get your bearings, then we'll head out. I just... I, I need another minute. Cauldron Lake. I thought I'd never see this place again. Take your time. But you should know these woods aren't the safest. Yeah. Uh, it's getting dark. You have a flashlight? <coughs> it's not safe without a light. I have a light. And a gun. You can relax, Wake. And Pages. If you see pages of writing anywhere, you must take them and keep them safe. Our lives could depend on it. They have vital information. We know about the pages, Wake. We'll keep an eye out for them. Okay. Okay, just give me a moment. It's okay. Take your time. That man's been through it. Should look around. With the flooding gone, could be further clues out there. The flooding disappeared very suddenly. I wonder if there's any connection to the overlap to Nightingale. So I got, got 13 bullets left, two healing items. I could do an optional request, which y'all know how I do. Y'all know how I do. Can I go back? Yes, I can. I can't climb up, right? Oh, this is way too high. She's only human. Got two batteries left. I, I, we doing all right so far. We doing all right. So when you stun enemies, you can hit them. So pretty much you can save, you can conserve ammo, which is what I'm going to start doing. I'm going to stun them, smack them up. A locked box. Is that the cult of the tree symbol on it? Nope. Notes and ammo. Looks like they're tools of the trade. Cult doesn't see their victims as people. Remember, they look like us, but they aren't. They are like animals. It's our job to hunt them and gut them.
These stashes could contain clues about the cult. Better keep an eye out for more. No reminding cultists the victims are like animals. So that's gonna go here, yep. Dehumanizing their victims, they are the predators, their victims are just prey. I still got more though. Cases. Four here. Figured all this out already. So this goes here, and that goes there. Nightingale goes missing for 13 years, shows up murdered, and then turns into a monster. After I stop Nightingale, a rider who's also been missing for 13 years turns up. What's the connection? What kind of case is this? Cases. They really got you playing detective in this game. Kind of crazy. He was gone for 13 years, indeed. 13. So we had to kill Nightingale. Get him the fuck out of here. What were the items I got? Shotgun ammo. Reload this baby. Propane tank. Standard handgun ammunition. Throwable flare emits intense light for a long duration. So I guess that's like to stun them and, you know. Painkillers restores a small amount of health quickly, replenishes additional health over time. Assuming I'm gonna need that shit. That's what they're telling me. Oh, what the? Oh, you motherfucker! The fuck did he go?
My man, does he not die? Son, is this a, like, this is not no regular dog. Even the animals are turning into monsters. Nah, hell no. That's crazy. That shit took forever to kill. Ain't that some bullshit? Nah, I definitely did not try petting it. I'm trying to, I just want to test something. Like, I don't even care. Like, I'm going to load it up again. I Like, I don't, I don't understand the light physics like that. So I'm trying to understand. Like, I guess it's just to stun them. Cause so like on the on the on the boss battle, it exposed him and I managed to get the kill. Yeah, it's like a little confusing to be honest with you. Nah, nah, nah. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I just, I'm just testing things out just to see. Son, like he attacked me immediately. Okay. Nah, I know batteries are limited. Nah, I know that. I am in the light. Ow. <laughs> See, I'm trying to learn the mechanics. I'm trying to learn the mechanics. Um, You 
before I get deep in the game, because clearly now I'm starting to battle some shit. I thought, so my initial thoughts in the game was literally you had to, you had to apply the light, which was the only way to kill him. But it doesn't seem like you have to do that. It just stuns them. Try to smack this motherfucker. I'm a dodging and I'm a I'm a bob and weave. Stop running from me. So it is mad hard to smack these motherfuckers. I just want to smack you up. Smack you up. Oh, my gosh. Get your ass over here. Why do you keep running? Wait. He's going to keep running from me? Get your ass over here and fight. We fighting. This nigga keep running. Oh my gosh. You not hungry? <laughs> Bitch. I hit him. So he's not going to attack me if I'm. Even the animals are turning into monsters. Bitch. Don't fucking run from me. Why are you running? <laughs> Why are you running? Stop running from me. You know I brought hands to the dog fight. The fuck he thought he... Listen, man, don't run from me. Oh, there's more dogs in this shit. That's why that music keep going. Give me this, give me this shit. I look for more. See, Some more shit. The cult is leaving supplies around for themselves. Flashlight.
Now we're going back to the dark. I at least saved some bullets though, right? Smacking up the dog. I'm glad it's melee in the game. I got a key. All right, the coat is watching now. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Has an anomalous creeping warning sign inside. Nope. <laughs> Encouraging cultists to dehumanize victims. I think I'm at a loss here. Back at Witch's Ladle. Saga pointed the flashlight at the strange, dark substance. The same substance Nightgale had left at the morgue. There was something hidden under it. She strained to see. The opposite of sunspots in her eyes. Blacker than black. Suddenly a change. The light reacted to the substance. A feedback loop surging up her arm. Saga squeezed the flashlight, willing it to penetrate the dark matter. Burn it away. Do you remember if Apply raided you during Overwatch? I don't know. Who's that? No ass here? What are you looking for? So the, the shadows go beyond humans, obviously. I'm gonna go to the murder site.
It says investigate the previous flooded area. The fuck is that at? There's another lunchbox. It's not a bad day. It's just, it's just a bad day, not a bad life. If you're having a good day, ignore this whole thing. So I'm at four. Final sign, at least. I'm just not too sure where the flooded area is at. Let's see if I miss anything here. Just wasted battery for nothing. General store. I'm looking everywhere. You know, in all honesty, I don't think I needed to use the shotgun. Follow the steps. Wash hands. Take chicken out the fridge. Take a nap.
Wash hands, take chicken out the fridge, take a nap. Wash hands. Hold on. Wash hands. Take chicken out the what? Out the fridge, take a nap. Two triangles up, down. Two triangles side by side. Okay. at them again. Side by side, up and down. Kind of away from each other, side by side. Down, away from each other. Take a nap. Oh, this shit's not working. Side by side. Wash hands, take chicken out the fridge. What am I doing wrong here? Can't be that. that yo with these boxes
down, but. Fuck is here. Do they like just spawn? Shit. Oh, that shit is over there. Up down, but it's not like This shit is fucking with me. Wash your hands. Take chicken out of the fridge. Take a nap. What the fuck? There's no symbol like that, though. I think it's over there. No way. What the fuck am I doing wrong? Two triangles. It's up, down. Side by side. This is crazy. Unless I have to when I when I turn it, I have to turn it a certain way. I don't know. I 
I'm really stuck on this shit. I'm really stuck on this shit. And the enemy's right up there. What is this shit? And this symbol don't even exist. That one is not even there. Probably the second hardest puzzles of games I played. Yeah, that shit was difficult. I got, I, I was like, all right, it's this. Damn, that shit took me like 10 minutes, though. What is, I don't know what the hell is this, though. I can't use the light on it. I don't want to shoot it. I feel like that's a waste of bullets. And I, I heard the noise up that way. I don't want to go that way, though. Not yet.
Is it? I'm stuck. The fuck am I stuck on? See, that's why I don't understand. Like, I'm shooting the fuck out of these motherfuckers. I clearly see the weak spot. Oh, no. No way. That ass? That ass. They put me all the way over here. They really put me over here. <laughs> Fuck, I lost it. Smack this shit. There's no need for me to use bullets. I can't. Why she don't look down and smack this shit? No way. Son, how long that shit was active for? <laughs> so I gotta, I gotta turn around and. Is this motherfucker close to death or not? I am doing it the most boring way and I apologize, but I'm just trying to save bullets. I'm playing on hard mode. I'm just trying I'm just trying to conserve some shit. What? Okay, hold on. What? So now he decides to attack. This 
just makes no sense whatsoever. So all that progress. The cult is leaving supplies around for themselves. Oh no. That shit did not save I am. I mean, at least I know where I'm going, but that's crazy. Let's just smack that shit. How the fuck do I save? It says to save often, but like... I think because I'm playing hard mode, I can't save like that, right? This game has save points only. Yo, Leon uh, Thono, thank you so much for the sub. Appreciate you. Let me... Auto saves rarely. I still, I like, real talk, I still don't understand, like, how the enemies work. Which is why I died in the first place, because I'm trying to understand, like, do they die just off of straight hits, or I have to actually flash them? That's the only thing I'm trying to figure out now, because that dog took mad long for me to kill. I don't
I really, I really, really. Cause of course I could shoot him. I already know that and I can I can I can light him up. I'm just trying to figure out do I really need to use my light though? And it seems like I do. Cause that motherfucker was not dying. How could she slap? All right, so you got to use the light to kill him, right? Random that there's no enemies here now, though. Oh, the red spheres that was here before. They really just be running away. is Logan.
okay. So I definitely kill him with melee. Melee's not too bad against him. I gotta do this shit again though. It was uh Right. There we go. There we go. Where the fuck they be running to him? Why they run so fast? Why does this guy continue? We're gonna accept. What the fuck does this guy want? How the f how the fuck do I leave the party? That man was driving me crazy. He just kept, every day he invited me. Like, dude, leave me alone. Nice talking to you, too. Yeah, it's like it's like at some point you got to realize you're just being mad annoying. I, I, I really don't understand why humans are like that. I 
at some point, you got to realize you're just being, like, mad annoying. Like, if I didn't accept it the first time around, I should tell you something. I want to do the optional area, but I don't. I don't know where the fuck to go. If I can't find it, I'll definitely ask you guys. <coughs> Rustin, thank you so much. Appreciate the sub. Uh, this is clearly back to the car, which is not what I want to do. Because it's to leave. Yeah, it's to leave. I'm not trying to leave. And I remember we got to jump down. She said, are you able to jump down? Grand Blue kind of fun. Yo, Anthony, what's good, man? So we're trying to do the optional boom. Investigate the previous flooded area, but it doesn't tell me. We was at the shore. I'm not too sure where the flooded area at. Yeah, this is my first playthrough. Please don't tell me anything, man. If you guys... If I don't ask, don't tell. You're going to instantly get banned if you spoil you anything. Which is why I don't even be looking at the chat a lot of the times when it comes to these single player games. Because you guys be spoiling the fuck out of these games, man. Yeah, yeah. No foreshadowing. No, no none of that. Let me, let me get bodied and let me figure this shit out myself. Remember, there's an enemy here. go to a save do you get fully healed you guys can answer that 
Like, if I'm asking something like that, then yeah. I, I see what it is now. <sighs> so when you take the light off of them, okay, I understand. When you take the light off of them, that's when they become vulnerable. They don't. Lo they lo uh, no longer have those powers. I see now. I wasn't paying attention to that shit. Funny enough. Do they keep spawning? Seems like they keep spawning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I peeped it. I peeped the fuse. I, I see it now. Yeah, once that aura goes away, then they become human. But before then, they got the powers of the shadow, so you have to use the light to get rid of it. And then they become vulnerable, which is why when I was shooting them at first, nothing was happening. I had to use the light to take it away. I peeped. I peeped. I'm going to ask in a few minutes where the optionable area is at, though. I'll tell you that much. If I can't find that shit, we're not trying to be here all day looking for that shit. Fuck out of here. So if I can't find it in a few minutes, I will be asking you guys where the fuck is that on the map. Best to believe that shit. We ain't going to be here all day. For that shit. Nobody want to be here all day. I know when that music playing, though, there's an enemy. It's on all these trees. Box. Seems like a box that I can open, but I can't. Writing this down in case it happens again, I forget. I got the feeling it hit me suddenly at 1.15 a.m. after I finished my armor on the porch of the trail. I got in the car, drove, chasing it. Starry night, not much moon. As expected, it led me past Bright Falls to Quadrant Lake. I tried to find the right spot, the right emotion, the right thought, the combination to have it all aligned to make it happen. Terrified it would. It didn't. Not this time. Frustrated but relieved. I scanned the sky for the shapes, the objects, nothing. But when I blinked repeatedly, I think I saw the afterimage of the ultra, ultrahedron. It faded fast. 
When I get ready to drive back, I felt someone watching me here, but not here. It's him. I know who it is. I know it is. Does he know that I'm getting close? I'm on the right track. I was right to come to Bright Falls. Okay, we got another piece here. Fragment. Why does it have me start all the way over there? Doesn't make sense. The note inside mentions making knitting just for me. How do they know I knit? Or maybe just a coincidence. <sighs> No one side mentions Alan. Alan, wake what the hell are these? Okay, that's a dead end. So I need to go back around. Trying to find that flooded area. I don't. I really don't remember where the fuck is that. We're gonna check down here. It's a dead end. It's not here. We look around. Climb up there. All right, we checked here, right? There was nothing. Took like a shortcut. tell you this is a crazy area to start off with could have been like a police station library mansion projects sign other than this big ass motherfucking forest for me to get lost in And you can't even pin. They should allow you to pin. You can't even pin shit. All right. No fast travel on right, this shit. I'm going to try to go down there. Let's see. Maybe I'm going the right way.
Don't wait. All right, I'm starting to understand. Okay, we're gonna go. This looks like Evil Within. Yeah, Rubus was good, man. I couldn't recover health, right? At least a little bit. Let me see. Yeah. All right. I think this is the way I'm supposed to be going for the optional area. Could be wrong. I'm gonna find out right now though. Oh, I was just here. <sighs> Alright, we're gonna go to the overlap. Goodness. What I have is items. Shotgun. I got mass shotgun ammo. Son, this shit is driving me crazy. Yeah, you gotta... Like, it, it tells me to go to... Investigate the previous flooded area. Where the fuck is that at? And it doesn't like, like auto show you. So they keep spawning. Falling down. About the go. anything. I barely got any light left. I ain't got no light. 
I got the, the, the other type of light, but. It was already out. My nigga following me. Okay, we got a limit. Am I going the right way? Did I find it? Alright, it was clearly a symbol, not a symbol. Six plus two plus three. Another locked box. Rock. Rock, rock tree. Are you bright enough? I don't know if that's a minus. I had to just switch it up. Are you one of us or are you one of them? This is definitely not the flooded area, though. We're connecting the dots. But this is like a dead end here. I ain't even got no ammo. I got health and a flare. Oh, 
Cauldron Lake. So that's a final key. Which find the station. All right, so we in a new spot. something written here a poem or a riddle reminds me of the nursery rhymes I read to Logan when she was little all right I'm gonna have to find some items probably in this house dark ass Home of the day, the sun as she sleeps knows not the woes of men who toss and turn and worry and fret and wish they had blissful slumber. Observation, pick up a bunch of trash left by tourists despite posted guidance. Humans are the worst. Thought of the day, every majestic pine was once just a weed acorn. Observation, a lot of new growth in the area. Some of the saplings I planted earlier are really thriving. Must be all this rain. I don't mind it either. Great sounds to sleep to. It's amazing what a good night's rest and a warm cup of tea can do. All right, let's go upstairs. Research into reality altering effects discovered in the Cauldron Lake area, utilizing fiction and art as a source and then manifesting the results into existence. The FBC's intent in this research project is to experiment with nursery rhymes here and after referred as a fiction and attempt to recreate the conditions under which the writing will become a reality. The hypothesis is that these there are two ways in which fiction affects reality, either by reflecting events that have come to pass but that are not known to their later creator whose acts of creation therefore become the catalyst for these past events after which they serve as the source of their own inspiration, or by the fiction itself being the initiating force in its present timeline using the creator as a conduit. In the experiment, we created nursery rhymes, nursery rhyme text with a specific function, and they used the depicted dials and symbols as needed via a careful testing process with the purpose of the story fold in, told in the fiction manifesting itself in real life a variety of combinations involving the dials, symbols, and rhymes will be tested in order to collect large amounts of data with the hope that a pattern will appear. Methods will be adjusted in the taste testing based on our results. Yo, Sheik, thank you so much for the sub. Appreciate you. Okay. got going on here a little clothes bindle perfect weird souvenir for Logan we 
Which find the station, Streamside, Cauldron Lake, Rental Cabins. 2-1-1. Creepy dolls. Mysterious rhymes. No weirder than anything else going on, I guess. These mysterious rhymes are scattered throughout the area. Why are they out here? Who is making them? <sighs> Location on which find a station in Streamside and Cauldron Lake rental cabins. Strange dolls over here. Is that full lining? Someone put a lot of effort. More. Doesn't look right. Yes, it does. Stop lying. That's a pretty good paint job, nice detail. FBI file on the reality altering effects <laughs> the nursery rhymes. That's gonna go down here. Please stop acting up. Oh. Nah. I guess here. No. Uh, so the FPC is researching how fiction affects reality. Sounds familiar. Uh, hmm. There's a setup by the tripod, some kind of experiment. This game really has you playing detective, which is crazy. I feel bad for these guys. Here's the promise update on the project's first experimentations. The test items used were plastic animal figurines, teddy bears, to toy cars, baby dolls. The iconical graphic nature of the test items was hypothesized to be beneficial for these research purposes. The hero brave, the strong left home to a right, to right a wrong. From the woods came the wolf, so greedy and hungry that he ate what he found in the house without a host. The hero returned to find she lost the thing she loved the most. She loved most. I don't know if I gotta find another toy. Seems like I'm missing one more toy. Nothing's popping up. Might just be those two toys.
Funny enough, somebody said this reminds them Evil Within, and it does, it does have some of those qualities, but it's definitely this game is super story driven. Murder sites. An overlap of the dark place needed a push from both directions to manifest itself. Reality in our world eroded by repeated dark lore tied to a location and a counterpoint. A work of art, a horror narrative crafted in the depths of the dark place, connecting to the story on the other side to reach out through the weakened veil. A story of a lawman whose heart was cut out of his chest. Two corrupt men killed by their own twisted ambition. A haunted old woman drowned in a bathtub. Twisted reflections on the other side of the mirror. Arcs stabbing through realities, amplifying the influence of the dark place. These elements working in conjunction made a trickle that became a torrent. Agent 163. <laughs> and the art, the map became the nightmare territory where the dark place encroached on our reality. A blanket over it, where they all overlapped, causing reality to twist and loop like a bad dream, remolding anything and anyone within its dark horror design. That might be the only toy, so I might have to, I guess, just work with those two, it seems. You see something real quick? I guess you use the hand flare when you have like a lot of enemies. Seems like I have to explore more. I don't know if I, it has to be these two items here. It mentions the hero brave and strong left home to right a wrong from the woods came the wolf. So greedy and hungry that he ate what he found in the house without a host. The hero returned to find she lost the thing she loved most. No. Oh. That 
That's not right. Ugh. Keep trying. Nah. Something feels different. I should look around. So the left to the right. Yeah, left home, the woods. Okay then. I'm not the smartest guy in the world, okay? But I know too much stuff. Charm. Cute. It'll go great on the bracelet Logan made for me. Huh. That was strange. Gotta keep an eye out for more of these rhymes. Being a puzzle made the world change. What's going on here? Charm appear. Where did it come from? I wonder if there are others. Keep trying. Child unprotected. Okay. So there's more sites too. From what is, from what is saying. What is this? And there. So that's it. Look like a trail does it want me to follow? I know the charm is like saves you from death but shatters in the process. Have up to three. Okay. A lot of fucking exploring I'm doing here. Uh. Can't forget the dolls. Might need them again. We've reached the car, Anderson. How's it going down there? I think I'm done here. I'll meet you at the parking lot. Yeah, let's fucking go. There's another lunchbox. Stream, we out here. Obviously, you're going to succeed or else you wouldn't be the hero. Duh. Nine manuscript fragments. I 
I want to waste a bullet. But I don't think it's going to do anything. So we found the area. Yep. What's going on, buddy? What is good? Appreciate y'all being here, by the way. I don't know if I found everything, but nonetheless. Oh, yeah. Waiting. I guess those red things is like the enemies respawning. I don't know. I'm out of here, though. We got to make it to the parking lot. So. Go around here. No, we can't. It's blocked off. Then we're going to go through the red. We almost done, stream. We almost motherfucking done. We are going to the parking lot. Our cat uh, category is flushed. What happened? Let me find out I'm a single player expert. About to go back. Make sure we're almost at the parking lot. Then I gotta make a left here. Yep. And we are good. Time to get in the car. You ready to go? All right. Yes, indeed, we are live. Mr. Wake, we're taking you back to our field office in Bright Falls. You can freshen up there, and then we'll talk properly. Hey, Mom, before you say anything, I'm totally fine. Don't freak out. Dad shouldn't have even texted you. Logan? No one texted me. What's going on? I'm totally fine. I slipped, that's all. God, it's not the end of the world. Put your father on the phone. 
Um, okay. Dad, it's Mom. Don't worry, hun. Logan slipped in the shower and bumped her head. She has a slight concussion, but I'm keeping an eye on her. Lucky I heard her fall. She could have drowned. Jesus, David. Why didn't you call? I tried. It didn't go through. She's fine, really. But what about you? You sound stressed. No, it's, uh... Just a weird case, that's all. Well, if you need a hint, my years of board game victories tell me Colonel Mustard did it. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep an eye out for him. <laughs> Love you, Dave. Love you too, honey. Wanna say bye to Logan? Nope. Just tell her I love her. Bye for now. Look at my eye. What's going on, Alan? you'd like us to reach out to, Mr. Wake? You've been gone a long time. No. No. They'd be in danger. It'll come for me. Okay. Let's talk about something else. Robert Nightingale. Do you know him? You were both here in 2010. The Dark Presence got him back then. That's the last time I saw him. So that guy was in part one. The boss. Tell us about the pages. You had what looks like a title page with you. Return. Is this the name of the story on these pages? The writer's name has been scratched out pretty violently. But your name can still be made out underneath. <laughs> scratched out. Yeah. Scratch. He's like this motherfucker. Did you write these pages, Mr. Wake? I'm trying to remember. It's, it's, it's a crazy jumble, like, a, like a nightmare. I, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. Is on a week now. Is I in a talk show tonight? Waking up in places with no memory of how I'd gotten there. It was out of control. I didn't need another mugshot in the fucking tabloids. Had I already done the show? Was that a recording? The guy at the award show. Crazy that they're using real life people. That's crazy. I haven't seen something like this since like Sewer Rat. <laughs> I don't know if anybody remembers that. Sega CD?
Come on, come on, sit down, sit down, sit down. <laughs> That's crazy. They're using Ooh. real life people. Game is wild, oh, indeed. Man. It is so good to see you, Alan. That, that this must be an exciting time for you. But tell me, does it ever get old? So does what get old? Publishing a new book. Are you okay there, my friend? You look like you've been cooped up in the writer's room for a few too many years. This is exactly how I feel. <laughs> you know, I've waited so long to get my hands on the sequel to Departure. You left us on quite the cliffhanger. We've all been dying to know what it's not a lake, it's an ocean really means. You and me both. Well, <laughs> our wait is over. What? Your new book, Initiation, hits the shelves tomorrow. What? That's exactly what every reader will be asking. This book is mind-bending. It's so cerebral. I mean, how would you describe it? A an auto-fictional thought experiment? A, a, a horror story? A postmodern detective story? Wait. This isn't right. I, I haven't written anything. He's so humble. You're joking, so, huh? You got me. Good prank. Very funny. But yeah, I uh, sad to say, I, uh, I've not written this. Uh, I'd remember if I'd written a book, right? Or maybe it was written by your evil double. <laughs> well played, man. That is spot on. Playing the role here. Pretending the world of the book overlaps our own. That's very meta indeed. You see, Initiation tells the story of a fictional writer named Alan Wake who is trapped in a nightmare, desperately trying to find the manuscript of a novel he has forgotten he has written. The book is set in New York, but it might not be New York at all. He is tormented by his dark doppelganger, guided by visions of a fictional detective he has written. That's right, Alex Casey is in this book as well. Uh, I guess we'll just keep doing this the whole show. The joke's on me. Isn't that what you sign up for with auto-fiction? No, but seriously, I found the, the structure of the reality you build in the book fascinating. It reminded me of The Matrix. I mean, the writer is physically in his writer's room, trapped there, and he projects himself out to this dark dream of New York through the story he is writing. Uh, like astral projection. Did I get that right? Yeah. That's exactly right. Go on. I should be taking notes here. This is great stuff. What? Note to that other Alan Wake in that room writing this as we speak. Are we all in your story, Alan? <laughs> wow. No, I, I, I wish you every success with your new book, Alan. I hope it's as successful as your best-selling Alex Casey series. Initiation hits the shelves tomorrow. After this, I'm sure we'll all be eagerly awaiting the culmination of this hero's journey trilogy of yours. A book called Return, perhaps. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's so lost. This is one of the strangest interviews of my entire career, Alan. <laughs> all this talk of meta narratives. I kept expecting to disappear once this scene ends. Hello? Give me one second, guys. I'm just handling some advertisements. Something's not right here. I needed to get home to Alice. Let me just get this out the way real quick. Appreciate y'all, by the way. I am hosting a tournament tomorrow, so some DVFZ.
And then I'm going to give me some iced tea. What's going on here? I'm almost done stream. Alright, I'm gonna just get something to drink and then we're gonna get back into the game. Give me one second. Apologies. A hundred viewers by the way. Appreciate y'all man. Thank you so much. Give me one second. I am here. Just want to do a little bit of talking real quick. There ain't no bullets. Sheesh. Want to do a little bit of talking with y'all real quick. So I spoke with um, Acoustics earlier. Um, and interesting enough, he was telling me, he was telling me that he's really, I know this is going to sound crazy. He's going to DreamHack Atlanta this weekend. So I was like, oh, you know, what, what, what uh, work are you doing out there? He was like, I'm going to be hosting. I'm going to be doing this and that. He's like, but no commentary. I was like, why? What happened? And he was like, nah, I chose not to. And I was like, what you mean you chose not to? And he was like, yo, I'm not into these games like I was before. He was like, nothing inspires me to commentate. Like, I was like, you don't want to commentate nothing? He's like, nah. He's like, I, I, I really, he's like, these fighting games is not it right now. I could not believe when he told me that, I was like, that's crazy. He really does, like, yeah, he's just really not into the, into the games right now, you know? So when he told me that, I just, I could not, I could not believe it. Yeah, it's a, it, it happens. Like, you get burned out and shit. It, it does happen, you know. It's just unfortunate. It's very unfortunate. It does happen, though. People do get burned out, Um, you know. So just, uh, you know. Him not wanting to do commentary, though, is something that I did not expect, for sure, you know? What the hell was that interview? Some kind of joke? Initiation? I never wrote a book called Initiation. 
This felt like a bad dream. Could make a good horror story. So, I mean, with Cool Sticks not wanting to do commentary for now, it's just like, damn, what the fuck is going on? I just feel like games are... Like, fighting games are both doing good and not good. Like, Street Fighter... gods of Asgard. That name sounded familiar. Street Fighter VI should have just had so much going for it, right? And it just... I don't know, man. It just... No patches. I was a mess. I'd never heard of this talk show or Mr. Door before. None of it felt right. Was I losing my mind? That the Casper darling. So my thing is, is like, like Street Fighter, I don't care what anybody says, okay? As humans, we get tired of things pretty quick. A lot of us humans, we get tired of shit pretty quick. So if 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 something stays, something stays the same for quite some time, we're gonna get tired of it, and we're gonna want to move on to something else. Street Fighter Six shouldn't have one fighting game. What game? What game would you want to win fighting game of the year? You're that's crazy to say that. That's actually, Texas, what other game would you want to win fighting game of the year? You're, 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 no, 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 no. This is why I disagree with you. Texas, you don't even believe what you're saying right now. You actually don't even believe, disagree, dude, there's no way. There's no way that you think Mortal Kombat 1. There's no way. As an overall package, we're not talking about, it's, it's fine. That's your opinion if you like Mortal Kombat more. But game of the year? My man, there's still no lobbies. There is still no fucking lobbies. The game has to be, the game has to be online for you to have the stuff that you brought. They just added a Wi-Fi filter, but you can't even legit have it as an option to never play against Wi-Fi. You have to deny it. It, yeah, it doesn't run well on PC. No cross-play. Story was good until it got to the end, and then it got real repetitive. The the no and that no sexes. That's fine. That's fine if you prefer Mortal Kombat. But you cannot say that Mortal Kombat is game is fighting game of the year over Street Fighter. That is an insane take. That is an insane take. That game, like as a package, that game sucks. It really does. And it's like I said, it's fine. See, y'all have to you have to differentiate between. I like this game. And is this game of the year? There's, there's, <laughs> there's a huge difference. You can like the game because you like the gameplay. You like the assist calls. You like maybe it being slower. Whatever the case may be. Okay, cool. But as an overall package? Nah. Nah. Y'all bugging. If y'all think Mortal Kombat is fighting game of the year. Shit is fucking terrible. This is not an opinion, by the way. This is not an opinion. The opinion is, I like I like Mortal Kombat better because of the gameplay and stuff like that. But you can't say game of the year when it's missing so many features. The training mode is still unfinished. Still unfinished. 
The training mode is still unfinished. There's so many things missing in that game, which is insane. In, in, in the year 2023, about to be 2024. I'm sorry, Texas. That's this is not this is not an opinion. <laughs> it's not an opinion. They yeah, they still fixing frame data information. Street Fighter wasn't made like that though. I you you're not lying on that. But Street Fighter was not made like that. That's the funny part. I don't care how much you dislike Street Fighter 6. That's fine. You can think it's trash. Your, your, your opinion on that is completely fine. But don't say, don't say that Mortal Kombat is an overall better package than Street Fighter. It's not. It's not. Not, not even close. That shit don't even hold a light to it. I just wanted to talk about that before I get back into this game. <laughs> Cause that that is that is wild to say that shit. It's it's still it's still unfinished. That's the crazy part. It's still unfinished. Nick All Stars was a better package than Mortal Kombat One. Oh my goodness. It is it's just it's not good, man. It's not it's not good. You know? Like I said, it's completely fine. It's completely fine to have your opinion if you like gameplay mechanics and all that. You're not wrong on that, man. Hey! But, I think I've been locked in. Hey! hey Fuck. Now I have to find the code myself. Great. Yeah, Mortal Kombat just man, they they they. I hate that they dropped the ball so hard on that game. I really do, dude. You can see the viewership, the player base. It's so so many things have dropped. I'm not saying that it's too late for that game to make its comeback, but yo. That game should not have came out the way it did, man. Not even fucking close. Not even fucking close. That game should have came out swinging for the Grand Slam. No, not swinging for it. Made the Grand Slam happen. And it failed, man. That shit was a strikeout, dude. The fact that... I, don't get me wrong. I hate the fact that Street Fighter Six, you got to... You got to make an account and all that shit. But once you understand how to make the account, it's easy. It's actually really easy. You just sign on to PlayStation. You sign on to PlayStation. You go to Cap. You go to CapcomID.com. It takes you like three minutes. You're done, right? You could be offline while playing Street Fighter VI. You cannot be offline while playing Mortal Kombat. You know how insane that is? You cannot be on Mortal. You cannot be on offline Mortal Kombat because you don't have everything. You end up losing DLC. It's fucking stupid. I can't... Shit like that pisses me off. It's so fucking dumb. There's no reason for that shit to exist like that. The shit I brought. So I'm pretty much renting shit out to... Like, that's it. I don't own... Like, I don't own it. I don't have it. I hear you, Texas, but as of right now, as of right now, that's a problem. It's a huge problem.
Son, I just looked at the numbers and I was like, fuck it. <laughs> There's something here. A broken transmission I couldn't quite make out. What was that? A message? Oh, impossible to say. There's gonna be like one enemy. And I ain't got no gun. Even though I'm looking like John Wick in these streets. I ain't got no gun. I'm naked out here in this motherfucking studio, man. I'm naked. I'm looking like John Wack out here. <laughs> I'm looking like John Wack out here. I'm fucking naked. I ain't got shit. Why well, I'm still acting like I'm opening the door. Nigga, get the fuck in. Here. <sighs> nah, Scully, I'm not like that, man. I'm not, I'm not. I want to play my games, have there fun. Was something in the studio with me. I had to get out. No shit, I gotta get the fuck out. That doesn't mean. That doesn't mean like Daniel, Posey, and some. It doesn't mean like what they're doing is wrong and shit. If they're getting, if they're getting money off of dumbass people, that's not their fault. For air. This place felt familiar. A ghost of a memory surfaced about riding here for countless days. A plot board for mapping out a story. On the index cards, the nightmare that just happened to me. A summary of the story so far. But other notes as well. Warnings. I had written them. I couldn't remember what it all meant. The name Scratch filled me with dread. Yeah, if they want to get if they're getting their money I off of dumb people, hey man, more power to them. Act on them. You must write to escape. Waking up to a nightmare at the talk show, I had thought I was home in New York, but none of it felt right. I was trapped in a dark place, a nightmare beyond our world. The writer's room was my safe haven. My writing affected what was outside. I was trying to write a story to escape this place. The story was called Initiation. But the story I wrote, I projected myself I to write more. out to look for a way to escape. I had to try many times, failed. This place made me forget. Everything door had me felt true. Was the part of my writing or coming from somewhere else? The dark place, trapped, and you must write to escape. Oh, so I'm gonna be playing. I'm gonna be playing Alan Wake. It's not gonna be no temporary shit. It's gonna be. Clearly, I'm gonna have to build a case. I couldn't leave. This wasn't the way out. Yo, W. Koso, thank you so much for the sub. Appreciate you, buddy. Thank you so much, man. I use my right. Hope you guys are having a good time here with the variety. Like a deep sea diver to go deeper and explore the depths of this prison for a way out. This room was my boat. Writing was my lifeline. I would start again at the talk show.
I love that they ha they're using actual like humans. It's crazy. This game is so bugged out. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. So, Alan, as the uh, leader Casey. of the character, how do you feel about this? Sorry, what? I know it can be an awkward question to the man sitting right next to you, but I mean, how do you feel about him in the role of Casey? Does he look the part to you? He looks exactly like I always imagined Casey to be. This nigga just talking out his ass. Thank you. That means so much to me. I'm a huge fan of your books. So, uh, what's the problem, Alan? Because on more than one occasion, you voiced your reservations about the adaptations. Uh, it's not that. They're their own thing. They've gone with choices that are different from mine. I... I I feel protective about my stories, and these adaptations... Uh, uh, I don't know. I, I guess I just wish I could have been more involved in making them. Well, in that case, you won't have seen this either. We have a clip from the new film, Murder Case Casey. Should we roll it, or do you want to say something first, Sam? Nah, just roll it. Roll that shit. This city was an old scar that refused to heal. The rain made it fester. It needed the sun, but there was only the night. I was tired. Insomnia covered me like a plastic. Film. I love the way this game is created, though. The world through a rain slick window, my own reflection haunting the view. I was trying to track down the missing writer. My only clue was a table lamp shaped like an angel. The only thing to shed light on this sordid mystery. That's great. Murder case, Casey. Great job, Sam. Very exciting and very meta. I'm looking forward to seeing more. Wait, stop. What was that about a writer? About a lamp? Again, everybody gone. So, this game definitely takes. From like Silent Hill, Resident Evil, not so sure what other games. Evil Within, in a sense. Not this time. Better look for them numbers again. Casper, so uh, this is like the same. But the numbers have changed. It's no longer 665. 
What is it this time around? Uh, six six five. That shit. Me that shit. Yo, I'm actually playing single player games, guys. I am playing a single player. When's the last time I played a single player game? Like, like played it through the entire way. We're not talking about no Elden Ring, by the way. Where I played one day and I was done. So I'm going to finish this shit. Two years ago. Yeah. Damn. That's crazy. Man, Resident Evil Village feels like it came out, like, for me, like, yesterday, man. Hello? Taking a shit here. The mirrors is always distorted. So much evil that not a bit of good as well. Not one without the other. <laughs> good to see you. Hey, I, I can't seem to find my way out of here. Can you point me to the exit? <laughs> of course, Tom. The work will instruct its maker. I was gonna get something from the basement for you, but you can get it yourself now. Uh, the more cooks, the worse the soup. <laughs> Have we met before? Are you trapped in the dark place too? You remember Ahti, the janitor. You can't be lost if you don't worry about where you are headed. So don't worry, Tom. The sun will shine even into a heap of twigs. Just remember to turn on the lights. It won't take long when you get to work. What do you want me to get from the basement? A and my name's Alan, not Tom. That's yeah, yeah, right. but a cut up, go, a man's a man, but a man with a tool makes two, Tom. Egane. <laughs> and a man with a tool can build his own exit. It's in a shoebox in the basement where you left it. <laughs> Safe as in the Lord's purse. Here's the key. I've been trying to find a way to escape the dark place. Any suggestions? He who mouths about his troubles is the prisoner of his troubles. It's not easy to get out. But don't you worry, Tom. The home is so still this nigga, there what's my name? He's still calling me Tom. I often think about it when I mop the floor and look into the puddle. Water is the memory of the world. Water finds its way. The janitor was a bit out there, but still a friendly face. I had to trust the basement would get me out of here. Oh, so I uh, definitely gonna be here for quite some time, huh? Fighting some shit. So I'm 
here. I got to get to the basement, which would have been the other way, but we're going to check this out real quick. Oh, so we just here. Lock it. Shortcut. Yep. Now we go this way to go into the basement. They are honking their horns outside crazy. lamp and a shoebox. Was this what the janitor had left for me? The lamp felt significant. A tool for bringing light to the darkness. I felt a magnetic pull between the lamp and the light overhead. into my lab the whole room changed like something in a dream opening a way forward the lamp was humming the bulb glowed it held the light now oh so if i hold it oh that's crazy I get into a corner, I guess, or I felt another surge from the lamp. I could use it again. The glow in the lamp went out, shifting the light in the room. The light carved out something new from the darkness. I guess I had to be like here and then oh can't use it. I needed to find another way out. Charges. So what the fuck am I supposed to do?
this door is locked. All right. No charges. Okay. Now remember, guys, don't tell me jack shit. I don't care whether you are sub or not. You will get banned. If you guys even tell me a single thing, I don't want to know anything. Let me figure shit out myself. Hope they remake it. Ah, this this a uh, this a uh, break time, break time. What's good, stream? Quick little break. They should do a Max Payne remake. They should. I think I think it would be really cool if they did, right? On this long-ending world What are you looking at? Is it your face on the pane of glass? Yeah, Max Payne was one of those games, like for real, for real. I fucking loved it. He always had that. <laughs> he always had that face, remember? 
Max Payne, yeah, Max Payne was the shit. I fucking loved it. That was, you know, that was the first game I think that utilized the um the double analog. I could be wrong, but that was the first shooter. The first shooter. He was always constipated, yeah. The story is is, is good. It's good. It's, 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 you just have to you just have to realize that this game is like is not a lot of action. It's way more story. <laughs> way more story. Like we barely we only fought one boss, couple of enemies. Playing control, yeah, them, oh, like th those games is all connected, right? Which is crazy. The shoebox can store your items. Alan can access store items from any shoebox. Right, I think this is this is when I'm gonna start fighting some enemies. New York City. Somehow I knew the call was for me. Oh, this shit blurry in the mouth. Ah, right, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Wait, what happened? Whoa. All right, I'm out, I'm out, <laughs> I'm out. This, this looks really nice. Zangagus, Zangan Zeus. Hello. What's going on, man? Yes. Do you know who I am? Nah. So pretty much. Who is this? We'll get to that later. There are spies all over. All they did was just extend the, the, the timer of how long the heater stays on, but I ain't even got no heat now. Alan, listen to me carefully. Caldera Street Station, the subway. You need to go there. I'll call you again later. Make sure to pick up. Do I know you? I, I know you from somewhere. You've just forgotten again. We're in this together. Don't worry. I got it now. We've been working. Great. I'm losing you. Hello? Hello? Give me that subway pass. Pick that shit up. You know how New York City is. Insert this way. AC initiation two. The man had said Caldera Street Station. I had to go there. All right, so we know the darkness is here. Shadows stirred like there was someone there, but there was no one. The Caldera Street station sign was there, but the entrance was missing. I had to make it appear. Maybe I could use the lamp to reveal the station entrance. The lamp was dead in my hand. I needed to find a light for it.
This is definitely a nice New York City replication. Nice job, guys. Nice job. This looks good. This looks very good. Nah, I'm just stuck. The fuck am I stuck on? I oh okay, I just can't go through, no doubt. So clearly I got to be under the light. Son, this shit got me searched. charges I got to use the light to change the area but Where the fuck does this shit want me to go? Illumination. on the page. What the hell? Casey! Oh, hey. We met at Door's show. Alan Wake, the writer. I'm Alex Casey. I'm looking into a murder. Come on, what... What is this? There's a piece of evidence, a manuscript of a novel. You wouldn't know anything about it? A manuscript? What manuscript? I need to see it. Rumor had it the manuscript contained the details of the murders. A murder cult was following the story to commit their gruesome acts. Was Wake their leader? Had he written it? How far would he go to create a perfect work of art? Or would he be the next victim? Dream I had. He 
really want to know, you're going to get what's coming to you. You're in a bad state, buddy. Give me this light. Just give me the light. And give me the gun. Just give me the light. This was an echo of the books I had written for years. Picking up Casey's gun felt like I was assuming the role of the detective. I had a light now. I needed to get back to the subway station entrance. Hold on. There might be some ammo here. I need to really look. All right. Well, y'all know what time it is, right? Yeah, Cheryl Ace, what's good? They gave me a gun. They gave me the light. Shit. With the alley in darkness now, restless shadows block my way. Damn, I don't even have to use no gun, no bullets. Straight up light them up. Literally. Now we out. We out. Fuck. Now we out. Knock me the fuck out. Shit. With the alley in darkness now? Alright, there's Rest no the I have to I have to light him up. These two fuckers, the medium starter. These two fuckers, yeah, I gotta light them up. Flashlight, I could fight back. I could use the light to open the subway entrance now. This. I feel like I should, I should search, but like, why would there be any bullets outside? I mean, it is a video game, right? I 
Like in this this cardboard house, there might be like a nope. And this garbage truck, nope. This is definitely not this type of game, right? Where there's going to be random bullets scattered everywhere and shit like that. This game rewards exploring. Yeah, well, I'm not getting rewarded right now. It does though. I don't. I just don't think in this area. Nah. It's the journey, not the destination. I needed to find another light to go deeper inside. I gotta go back upstairs. I guess so. I'm really liking this New York setting, though. This shit is sick. This shit is actually sick. I'm a jump. The first ladder of the game. So I can climb up the ladder or go downstairs. Uh. 
Let's see what's up here. Align the echo by approaching it from a specific angle. I've written books about Alex Casey for years. Something lingered here. A line from a half-forgotten story. away the sins of this city <laughs> but some sins the evidence of the crimes committed could never be erased not by the rain or any amount of therapy from dr jack daniels it remained bruises under my skin like tattoos bruises in my soul scar tissue on my heart Damn, this game looks the incredible it does never stop does. falling Looks really good. And I never stop drinking. I gotta get more batteries. My shit is wasting. Son, I'm on zero. Where the fuck is more batteries at? On zero. That's what I'm talking about. All right, I could go multiple ways. Yo, Neil, what's good, man? Ah, uh, Discord died. It's not working. Shortcut.
No, I still gotta explore. I need to go back. Let's do some exploring. I bet you the MTA don't work here. Nah, <laughs> that shit is out of commission. All right, more batteries. There was something hidden here. Light would reveal it. A phrase repeated over and over. The words resonated with meeting. Had I written this? Words of power can be used to make Wake stronger. You can assign them in the writer's room. So we got words of war. Increased damage dealt by the last bullet in the revolver's chamber by 25%. Paint the town, increase double barrel shotgun damage by 25% when hitting multiple targets with one shot. Restore 15% of max health when landing a direct hit with the flare gun. We're going to hold off for now. We're going to hold off for now. I didn't even I didn't even use Anytime you see this, I got to light it up. I didn't even use the power up for shorty. I'm pretty sure I'll play with her in another um, chapter or something like that. I'm not sure. Right now, we are playing the main man, Alan Wake. says down all right here
Words of power. You know why they use yellow, right? In these games? Supposedly yellow, we identify yellow. We identify yellow faster than anything else, supposedly. Yeah, that's why that's why you always see you always see yellow for like a lot of things. Red and yellow is um things that we identify like really fast more than anything else. Nigga, no way. I'm already down to. And I think I was just here, right? Oh, these shadows definitely come back. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just run. I can't run. Son, they just come back. Just come back. Nah, we gotta just get to our destination. Light it up. Fuck me. Oh, what? Nick. <laughs> this motherfucker smacked the shit out. Are you kidding me, man? That nigga bitch smacked me. Like he legit bitch smacked me. That's crazy. Wake is getting the fuck out of here. My man. I'm out. Peace out. See you guys later. I'm not fucking with y'all. They're burning my batteries. They're burning my batteries. Wait, so does that mean I don't have all the other shit that I got here? Let me see. 
No, I did. I did. Okay, that's good. So I don't have to go back because I already saved it there. We good. Gotta fight the shadow hoodlums though. Relax yourself. Relax. 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 Let me reload. Relax. Found. Fuck, I gotta go though. It's not down here, right? I know I need the light, but. up how no way all right now i am lost let me see something I gotta get downstairs, I just don't know what the fuck to do. And then these motherfuckers is out here. Fucking with me and shit. Like, I ain't got things to do. Pick it up!
Yeah, you keep walking that way, man. Y'all motherfuckers can leave me alone. Nigga! Wake. Wake nothing. Mother. Son, they really stalking me. Son, they are stalking me all fucking deep. Stop. Son, that that motherfucker. Relax. Holy shit. Look at them. Oh, look at you. <laughs> Son, they just out here. fuck do I gotta do? Alright, this is some, obviously this is some type of puzzle. I have to figure out how to use the light here.
which activates that light. The gates to the platform were closed. I had a ticket. <laughs> I just got puzzles and shit. Open his shit. Something about the station platform felt significant. It would work in my writing, but I needed more. Got two batteries. Good health. Something lingered here. A half forgotten memory. An echo. Something was here, a vision about to reveal itself. I needed to look at it from the right angle. Yeah, that's like a puzzle after a puzzle after a puzzle after a fucking puzzle. I was looking that way. He'd gone missing, presumed dead. The cult was leaving me clues to follow, connecting the dots from one murder to the next, inviting me to draw an obscene picture on the city map. Caldera Street Station. Caldera. The name made me think of the exit wound of a bullet. I had a flash of inspiration. The ghost of my fictional detective. 
A story thread I could use in my writing. Have you discovered your first plot element from an echo? You can rewrite into reality on the plot board. I had a location. I had a story thread. I would put them together, write them into my story to create a path deeper into the dark place. clicked into place. The story rang true. I was making progress. The dark place reacted to my story. The way into the tunnels was no longer blocked. So we got word of gun, word of war. Damage dealt by the last bullet in the revolver's chamber. Yo, thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. 25% increased double barrel shotgun damage. 25 on heading multiple enemies. For 5% five, 5 chance to not consume ammo when firing the revolver. Personal space increased knockback. Force of Allen's shotgun by 15%. Sunny skies increase flare guns projectile area by 25%. Okay, that actually might be really good. I just need the flare. I don't want to use anything until I get those extra weapons. I'm a writer. I write. Writing is the key. Art is the key to find my way out of the dark place. I can't forget this. Don't you fucking forget this. I'm in the dark place. I'm outside time and space. Outside reality. But this is real. A nightmare dimension. An ocean of darkness. It... Remember, it's dark energy can make art come true. Make dreams and nightmares come true. Yes, I can use this. I need to use this. Hungry, monstrous things. They're stop me. They devour me. Become me. Oh, no. Was it the same actor? Like the same voice actor? In part one. He had long hair and um and the other one. Painkillers, flash grenade. <sighs> Did part one have more action? Because this is definitely story driven. Like a motherfucker. Like this shit is definitely so much story. The tracks led into the tunnel. That was my way forward. It's about the same? Okay. So that's like their pacing. They like this type of pacing. Okay. I don't have a problem with it. I know there'll be people that will be like, nah, I don't like this shit. Because it is definitely a very, very slow this. burn. Oh, nah, nah, we good, we good. Take it easy. Right. The first game is a is almost a rail shooter. Why you say that? Shit. I don't like 
the sound of that. All you do is walk forward and shoot shadows the whole game. There's like an hour worth of exploring. Ah, okay. Well, this is <laughs> vastly different if that's the case. Fine, Alice. Word of aid found. Give me one second, stream.
All right, what's up? What's up? What's shop? Yeah, I was talking to uh, Hook Gang Guy because we're supposed to be going out tonight. Shaposhu. Shaposhu. Me, him, um, Daniel. It was locked from the other side. So they gotta they gotta figure out everything, and then um, I'll hit them up later. But right now we are here with some Alan Wake. The tunnels were a maze. The blood trail led me on. The fuck is in here? Nothing in here? Just nonsense? Well, this is pure nonsense. Just atmosphere. Another place to use in this story. I needed to search the tunnels for further visions. Inspiration for the story that would lead me deeper. You find a new scene, go to the plot board to rewrite reality in the collapsed tunnel. The new scene I have found was important for the story. Anyone who gets involved with the cult. Yo, yes. gimmick, what's going on, buddy? I heard their leader is this famous writer, Alan Wake. Alan Wake? Their unholy motherfucking messiah. Sounds like a load of bull. Right now, I don't see jack shit. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we start changing the scenery. Before we start changing the scenery. Uh-huh. There ain't nothing here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Before we start changing the motherfucking scenery. Uh-huh. Yes, indeed. I'm about to fight something. Another echo lingered here. A source of inspiration. See? And that shit is gone. That's why you always got to check. Help me, ma'am. What do you know? Word is your research can help me, ma'am. What do you know? There's more than one urban legend about the cult of the word. The murder cult used these tunnels for their ritual sacrifices. They say the cult reenacted the murders in Alan Wake's crime books. The Wake was even involved somehow under a false idea. That was Shorty from the bar, from the diner. Course, a nickname for the devil himself. It was disturbing finding myself in the story this way. But I was desperate, and it felt right for the story. I had a new beat for the story. Love to be on this case. 
The cold can get you anywhere with that black magic shit. Let the day shift him. So it just repeats what you were hearing. Okay. Thanks, Amy. I'm good. Son, they just chasing. I'm good, my man. I'm just, I'm just exploring right now. Oh, you want to fuck with me? I'm not gonna lie, the way they be attacking is kind of crazy. They be attacking swift as a motherfucker. Nah, the heat situation is not fixed. Definitely not fixed. I I have tank top, thermal, PJs, and a thermal the thermal pants underneath. This shit is not fixed, dude. It's just not as cold outside. The water was gone. The way forward was open. Is it worth the risk to go see who? Hello? Oh. Hey, Alan. Shit. You stuck up on me. See you around, Alan. Sorry. Have we met? Memory problems again, huh? Yeah, we've met. Tim Breaker. We've shared notes. Hey, I've made some progress on the map, if you want to take a look. I still haven't found my mystery man, though. Who's this mystery man? Oh, it wouldn't be much of a mystery if I knew. All I have is a name. Warlandor. I got a the space heater, but they're, they're not good for, like, no. for me, no, they're not good because like I have the guy mad things plugged up. A talk show host? No. I'll keep looking. The minute I did that, I had it on for five minutes and the shit, everything shut down, so. You're making a map. I'm trying to. It's hard to map a dream, though. I keep ending up in unexpected places. I find interesting things like those strange markings that react to the light, but never the one thing I'm looking for. I'm here. I've been here for five hours, and that shit don't oh, feel I like five hours, but I've been here for well, five down. hours, dude. Stash. Take anything you need. I appreciate the help. Oh, I'm gonna be taken for sure. You ain't got nothing here, motherfucker. You ain't got nothing here. More precious than gold. 
more precious than gold. <laughs> well, that's my crazy wall. I'm just trying to make sense of things. I was at the morgue. Don't judge me. I'll trade you walls any day. I was about to give the evidence to the FBI. Lord transported me here to this dream reality. Why? Who, where, why, motive, why me? Missing time, no memory until now. I have always ended up here. What I forget when I get out. Abducted, aliens, door, UFOs, polyhedrons, dreams, me but not me. Others I know, yet they are different. The red-headed woman. You told me I could take whatever I want. There ain't nothing here. <laughs> there ain't nothing here. The fuck you want me to take? Bleach? Your coffee? The pizza you just ate? The fuck you want me to take? There's actually nothing here. I guess like I guess probably like on on like the um the easier difficulty, I guess there'll be things there, but not this difficulty. Ain't jack shit. See like those boxes that have nothing, they probably would have something on normal or easy mode. Cause I'm playing hard mode right now, so. I'm not here. Now I'm awake. I'm not here. Wake. Nah, no wake nothing. I'm out. Oh shit, I'm not out anywhere. <laughs> Yo, wait a second. <laughs> wait a sec. My nigga, listen. You ain't gotta fuck out of here. You better relax. What the fuck you thought? Okay, you that real nigga. You that real nigga. You hold on. You gonna relax. No. 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 You gonna be coming out of nowhere doing some shit like that. What the fuck? Now I'm passing on through motherfuckers. Let me be. Fuck out of here. Let me get that. Let me get that. Lie. The lie. I. The lie. I must hold on to it. I remember an awful beacon in the darkness. A scene in a ritualistic murder site in the subway tunnels. It's the previous draft of my writing. Must be. I've been trying to shape the dark place around me. So much fades away, even my memory of the process, washed away by dark waves. But some things remain, the darkest, nastiest elements, like the murder site. It's my goal, a stepping stone to travel deeper to escape, write a narrative that takes me there. Casey will lead me to it. This game is like 20 hours? It's a lot. I appreciate y'all being here, man. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. It, it definitely means a hell of a lot for y'all to be here. Over 100 people. That's, that's, that's crazy. That's actually really crazy. Fuck it. I need to see what's over here. <laughs> Just nothing. Oh my god. 
I literally just wasted battery for nothing. Thanks. Thanks. Son of a bitch. You enjoying it? I appreciate that, man. Yeah, it, nah, it's... Like I said, it's a slow burn. It's definitely a very slow burn. But I, I, I love games like this. I love story-driven games and movies and stuff like that. The and then anything horror, right I, I fucking love it. It was here for a reason. It had a role to play. And even though, like, truth be told, we only fought, like, two enemy types and one boss, the enemies is, is like, really cool, you know? I had found another compelling location to use. I'm not gonna lie, this, this game requires you to pay attention to a lot of shit too. Am I bugging for saying that stream? The cult poured the gasoline over the train car. An iron cage that would soon become a coffin. Like this game, this game, like it really requires your attention. Oh shit. What? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, this nigga's throwing out projectiles and shit. Shit! Shit! shit. Trying to throw out projectiles now. So that was definitely a new enemy type, but I, you can't even tell. This is where the history of the cult gets genuinely disturbing. The cultists track down the torchbearers living in the tunnels. Nah, the, the gameplay is not simple. That's crazy to say that. Gameplay is definitely not simple. I wouldn't. I. You know, simple is like. It turns into a bit of a ghost like Resident Evil or something. They say the dark smoke from the fire still roams the tunnels searching for new victims to devour. There are no happy endings in this city. The story thread felt important. I wouldn't say the gameplay is simple, I could use though. it in one of the scenes I found. I had a new idea, a new story thread. And this is definitely, this is definitely very uh, story driven and puzzle driven too. Now I got torch bearers. A sick and twisted story, but it worked. The subway car had become a burnt husk. I could get through it now. It's crazy. Like, doing, like, shit like that is, like, really fucking cool, though. Oh, it could not be opened on this side.
This game definitely requires brain power. But these motherfuckers burn the fuck up. That was sad. My motherfuckers burned the fuck up. Now this stuff got to the other side. Shortcut. arrow so it's hitting behind that Couldn't add a new element from here. I'd have to go to the scene. I see the arrow there. Too dark. Too, too dark. It has to be a word of power, but Wake. Nah, you don't have to wait up. I'm trying to figure this shit out. So there's an arrow there. Down. This one's tricky. Or maybe not that tricky. Hold up. This one is Chariki. 
Son, I can't find this shit. The arrow's there. He's just pointing for me to leave. Ah, right, fuck it. Can't find the shit. But it's, it's see, it's pointing here and there. trying to be here all day to figure that out. I ain't got it. I ain't got it. It's okay. Maybe another time. A lot of enemy. Ah, oh, there's more lockers over there, man. Let me see if I can get by. Is this shit over there? That's the thing. Um. Oh, look at this motherfucker. My path was blocked. I had to find a way through. The lights would help me. I think I do.
stop, she just go back. <coughs> oh, I, okay, I understand now. This shit is just like puzzle after puzzle after puzzle. Kinda in a predicament. I don't want to be burning shit, but. Oh. And other line. All had a story to tell. So I think I should go back and check that area. Ain't nothing here. Thank you. We're gonna explore the other the other area. I had a new idea for a scene. Shit, he's on the floor. 
Now we gotta figure out some shit. Change the details of the world. Gotta go inside. <coughs> Don't write. Remember, listen. Don't tell me anything. I'll figure it out. You don't guys you guys don't have to tell me what to do. Unless I literally ask you. Okay, this sign here, but I don't know what the fuck. I like how it like warps the reality, right? It's pretty much what's going on, but I don't, I don't, know. I don't understand this one. The hole had changed into the murder cult's hideout. The cultists were close now, a dark presence rising from the depths. Writer, the first word, not the last, and the shadow. I open, this is your time, ritual, friends will meet. The writer, not of the last, the shadow cast, third eye, project the night, this is your time when you're gone. Not the writer, the light, shadow, to write, to lead, will meet. Witness something here that made him run scared. Whether the summoning ritual had been a bona fide supernatural event or the mass psychosis of stark raving lunatics, it didn't change the facts. The cult was messing with things no one should mess with. The ritual was a vital part of the story, the key to reaching the murder site. The 
new story beat fit the story perfectly. Triangles. The fuck do I gotta do? Got that much battery left. Oh, you motherfucker. Press the wrong fucking button. This motherfucker came out of nowhere. I think I need to level up. This new plot beat would carry me deeper into the story. I ain't got no shotgun. I ain't got no flare gun either. I'm a warrior. I don't need to do that shit. Just gotta do it smart. Just gotta do it smart. Distance, play it smart. That's all we gotta do. That's all we gotta do. How does that still hit me? This 
into the darkness is coming. Oh, I need that shit. Give me that shit. Shut up. I have not gotten a new weapon at all. Did I miss that shit? Did I just miss the boat? That's it. Word of action. Word. Switch the, the power. Why am I stuck here? <coughs> what am I supposed to be getting here? There's something I'm supposed to see here. Keep spawning. Nah. Remember that. One second. Give me one second. Neutral in a single player game. I try. Secret roots. 
I kept hearing I whispers try. around burn barrels of an underground society of mystic outsiders with hidden knowledge. <laughs> Typical New York. I'm out. Good luck catching me. I'm out. I ain't gonna lie, I don't even know where I gotta go though. Nigga, let me reload. Reload, reload, reload. Oh, shit. Try different games to improve your neutral. Exactly. Okay, I see where I gotta go. I see what I gotta go. Oh, 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 oh. I wanna be sedated. Yeah, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Oh, you ain't expecting to hear it today? <laughs> Yeah, I appreciate you guys being here, by the way. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, I'm going to head on out because I'm going to meet up with Daniel Hook. We're going to actually go out, finally. Crazy. Um, I'm going to meet up with the gang, chill with them for a little bit. Then I do got a tournament tomorrow, so I'm not going to be out too, too long. Just meet up with them, get like a drink or something like that, and then that's pretty much it. I appreciate y'all. Thank you so much for tuning in. Peace out.